Welcome, people and block roomians, to a new series, and that is right, today we are starting up a new series over on Planet Coaster. For those of you who don't know, Alpha 3 just recently come out, has added this brand new challenge mode, which is basically just tycoon mode, so now we have to balance money. Obviously, that's an option, you can still go into freeform mode, and I thought today... Let's start that, because I did say a while ago that I was going to do this, I was going to do this as a little series, because I kind of fancy doing it, because there aren't many Tycoon games out there, I do quite like them, and after all, since pretty much we kind of got prematurely finished the City Skylines one, I thought we will start a Planet Coastal, that's a City Skylines then, it's not quite City Skylines, but I'll let myself off, and uh, basically the whole point is to, well, build a park. Uh, I know a lot of people want to see what the tropical one looks like, or they know what it looks like, and they just want to see me play it. So uh, I thought it was best to do it on a tropical one. Not only that, but on the tropical one, you have a lot more option of scenery, I've noticed. On the desert, you kind of have to you know, use orange rocks. There's no plants you can use, nothing like that. And to me, that's just not something I really want to do. Because even as well, we're going to try and fill this whole park, you know, try and not get bankrupt, try and maybe even get to a million if we can. If we get to a million easy, maybe 10 million, I don't know. I said, I haven't fully played this. I played this live when I actually did a live stream when this came out. You guys really liked that, so I thought, you know what, we're going to do a series on it. And here we are. We're starting the series. So I'm just kind of designing a bit of a path here. We kind of want something that's going to kind of delve off into two different areas because at the minute the main uh, kind of themes are the pirate and the fantasy. There is the vanilla, which I'm a big fan of and most likely we probably will end up using, but, but they are like the main kind of themes, if you like, in the game right now. Uh, we're just going to remove that. We're going to make that a bit thicker. I'm thinking about making this a bit thicker as well, this little area here, so uh, we can... Uh, Maybe just fit more guests through, basically. So we don't have as much kind of issues when it comes to higher guest numbers later on. Uh, it's all about preparing for the future, folks. It's all about preparing for the future. There we go. Not as if I rarely do that, but... <laughs> Not as if I rarely do that. But it's important to do if you can do it. So uh, we're just going to remove that. We're just going to bring it down. And it kind of went like that. No way. Make that a 10. Make that into a 10. There we go. Um, ooh. Yeah, if we do it like that, and then we go back down to the 6, and then connect that there. There we go, that works for me. And then I kind of want a little bit of a path if I can. Uh, how many, how's, how's the best to do this? We'll go 10 meters, and then we'll just boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Is that, is that the best way to do it? Do you think? I, I don't know. I think that looks relatively, um, somewhat relatively <laughs> equal. It's as equal as it's going to look, alright? So we kind of have this nice little division here at the start. We need to really start popping down some rides as well, because we only have $9,000 people to start off with, so we got to be a bit savvy. Uh, I've got a few blueprints because I suck at building things. I won't be attempting to build stuff, just be, be aware I will be probably majority of the time using these, because it's better for me, because I absolutely suck at building. Uh, also, another disclaimer, because I did say as well today, being a Friday, I was going to do Friday Night Live Fallout 4 today. I'm not doing that today. I'm going to do that tomorrow, because I was an idiot, and obviously Fallout 4 wasn't installed, so I went to reinstall that, and I'm literally, it was as I was setting up the stream, so I was kind of like... Yeah, for those who don't know, Fallout 4 is quite a big sized game, so that wouldn't exactly go down well. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down some kind of some small kind of shops, get some, draw up some business, so at the very least people will have stuff to do, I guess. Uh, I kind of want them to walk in and then to be instantly commercialised by big cow milkshakes and huge beef burger cops, I don't know, that's, that's what the game seems to like. So, uh, we'll, we'll go along with that. We'll go along that. That's okay. That's okay. And, uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, kind of pop these together. Like so. Now, you might be seeing this and thinking, that's not working because that's there. But the best thing is about this game, I don't like that. I can just remove it. I can add something on if I want to as well. 
I'm not going to because I have no need to. But uh, that way then it looks a lot more smooth and neat in my opinion rather than what it did before. And uh, I keep opening that one by accident. Uh, actually thinking about that, I do want an office. An information office as I like to call them. They're, they're information buildings but I like to call them information offices. Because in my opinion they look a bit like a well. The one I made was an information office. The first one I ever made because it was literally just a little brick hut that you just went in. You brought you in uh, fast passes. Okay, right. Is there any small ride we can fit in here? Because, after all, we've got to get something started, okay? We've got to get something started. So we have... Well, actually, I thought we usually have 5,000. Apparently, we have 10,000 staff this time. So that or in the desert, you have 5,000. I don't know. I've only really played the desert one. But as I said, you guys went to see me do tropicals, so we're going to do that. And uh, let's... Let's... Let's split the pass. Let's go... Oh, no. Let's take that back. Get a nice right angle going. That's not quite a right angle. Let's get a nice right angle going. That's still not quite a right angle. Why won't you do a right angle? Do a right angle. When I say right angle, I mean as in going that direction. And then we'll snap it on there. Sweet. And uh, then what we can do is I kind of want to leave this as kind of like a little bit of a flat ride area. Uh, as I said, I do quite like building the generic looking park. So I apologize if this is going to look... A bit too generic for some people's tastes. So anyway, I know how to get rid of that sometimes. And uh, what we're going to do is... I think it's probably best if we place down a ride first. So we get something down that people can kind of get on and kind of enjoy. And, you know, we kind of have a flow of income then at the very least. Uh, like an underlying source of income rather than just outgoing funds constantly. That's not what we want. So we're going to build a cube. Because, as I said, I'm going to make this kind of like a bit of a generic area. And uh, I'm probably going to do like a fancy area. And probably I'm just going to kind of do little areas, really. That's kind of the idea I've got. Let's hope that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that's gone over. Oh, oh mm, okay. And uh, let's... Tell you what, no, no, let's put it at a right angle. Let's put it there. Let me get this out. Let me... Length... Six... There we go. There we go. This this right here right now is really starting to... Oh, crap. <laughs> I was about to say, it's really starting to step up. Uh, no, it's done exactly the opposite. Right, hold on. I was if I put it down there. Ah! Aha! We've broke your source game. We win. Woo! Right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Again, place that there. Uh, not on there, please. Please, please. God damn it. So already built it. It's not good. And uh, what we're going to do is just do that. And then we're going to have an entrance here. And then we're going to have an exit back here. And then we're going to continue the pass on. If you know what I mean. And then, then, then what we're going to do... I'm just going to take that out by two. Slot that in there. Take that out. Slot that in there. Get this back again. Was it six this was on? I know it was a bit smaller. Ah. Uh, slight grid. Yeah, this is the new select grid mode now. You can kind of like build on grids. But it sometimes glitches out like that. And so sometimes it doesn't work. So uh, sometimes you just have to kind of mess around. Uh, whatever. We'll build the queue for the entrance. And I'm feeling a bit of a red brick theme here. People. So we're going to do that. I just realised I've kind of forgot to do the fast pass kind of area as well for this. Which I know I get to that, but I mean, like, as in, I don't think I really have an area for it. So, uh, we'll just pop on a ticket booth there. Oh, crap, that hasn't really worked. Hold on. Where is it? There we go. Add ticket booth. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead, enable priority pass. Priority pass entrance will be right here. By the only priority pass entrance we can get. The priority pass exit will be there. And then we'll just kind of build a little bit of a thing on the inside. A bit of a snake, if you so will. To kind of keep them occupied whilst they're in their habitat. Whilst they're waiting for their ride. There we go. There we go. It's all about the experience, folks. It's all about the experience. So we're going to go ahead and open that. We're going to put the time on. Start accelerating. Start getting some guests in. Bloody hell, them numbers are rising quick. 
Jesus Christ. I think that was my uh, YouTube stats. Lol. Right, anyway. Enough with annoying, bad jokes about my YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh god. Let's build some trees. Why not? Let's make it kind of... I mean, as I said, I'm kind of going for the bit of the generic rides here. So the idea is to make this look as generic as possible. But not so generic that it's going to be boring. Because I don't want it to be boring. And uh, we also need some benches for those who might be... You know, travelling with somebody who's arriving here to go on the cube. But, you know, doesn't want to go on the cube themselves. I'm not sure why you would do that. Because... Literally, we've only got the cube here at the minute, but apparently 126 people didn't think that way. Average guest happiness. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, mainly because it's irrelevant at the minute. They're not really going to spend much money here because there's not enough rides. They come here, they have the ride, they realise it's boring. By that time, we've already got their money, so it doesn't matter. This is how tycoons work, people. This is how tycoons work. There we go. Okay, we're just going to bop, bop. Bop, 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 sweet, oh Jesus Christ it's gone in the middle there, I don't want that to happen, there we go, sweet, right, so now what we're going to do is uh, connect that, they're also going to connect that to there, actually, mm. six, 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 there we go, there we go, that's that's the stuff right there. So uh, we're just going to go ahead, plop that there, kind of do something with it, I guess. Uh, maybe bring that round, doing this with my voice to try and make it sound like I'm focusing when I'm just actually trying to hook up a path, which probably didn't take much focus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know how that's going to work. Whatever. We'll figure it out as time goes by. Where are my guests? Come to me, guests. Buy your priority passes and flock. You're buying a priority pass. You're the first person in the park with only one ride. You literally could have just gone straight there and you would have been the first person on. Some people just really want to watch their pockets burn, don't they? Yeah, I'm talking to you, you couple. God damn it. Actually, no, thank you. You're the first couple in here to actually spend $50 per pass on my park. So, uh, thank you. You've spent more money than it would cost to actually go on that ride and when the ride is empty. So, uh, congratulations. You have won the award for the stupidest guests already. So, currently, the guests are enjoying their first ride on the cube. Uh, they're paying, they're forking out quite a bit of cash. I mean, look. Look, seriously. The time is taking them to get there. They, they could have just straight up just gone and... Uh, Seriously, I, I'm, I'm concerned, but at the same time, I'm not concerned because they've given me their money, so therefore, as far as I'm concerned, that's a successful customer service right there. So, um, <laughs> apart from literally exploiting all my guests because they're only guests in a mere pixelated form, I therefore don't have to care about their needs. So what we're going to do is we're going to build another generic ride to keep our guests happy once they've finished their first generic experience. You idiots, you're littering all over the place already. You are literally... Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that music sounds like someone's having a seizure over there. So whilst the uh, old guests are jamming out on the cube, I decided to get busy and made myself a bank. Uh, <laughs> I think it's safe to say it's not exactly structurally sound, but we have an ATM bank. That's right, so now people can now do... Oh my god, ATM robbery pranks and just, well, maybe generally get their cash out. I also put this on the roof, which I uh, forgot I need to duplicate and uh, add to the other side. Just a bit of uh, the old park branding as you do. There we go. Perfect. With a little bit of a spike thing. Admittedly, that didn't go too well either, so that's why I'm kind of covering it up. But yeah, the whole idea is I might try and put a roller coaster through this one day. Not that that sounds slightly terroristy, putting, you know, a, a big, fast-moving thing through a building. But, regardless of that, I mean, it was unstructurally sound as it was. It's not going to destroy it or anything. Um, at least I hope. And, uh, let's quickly just go put down the right, because... I'm feeling my guest rating and happiness probably isn't going to be too happy with me. Because you would have probably gone the same ride about 15 times, because there's nothing else to do. Right, 360 power... Let's, uh, let's do a Jeremy Clarkson, let's power, let's, let's scream power, and uh, let's uh, plop this thing down. Let's plop this uh, little bad boy down. Let's pop a little entrance there, pop a little exit there. Jesus Christ, that makes it tight. Um, we'll just 
add that on there, I guess. And then, I don't know, somehow managed to connect them two together. There we go, we did it! We connected them together. I've been waiting ages to bloody do that. This is annoying me. There we go. Sweet. Right, now what we need to do is now connect the queue. Add the queue to entrance. I know I could just do it there, but I wanted to make sure I had this selected. And uh, we'll go ahead. We'll select it there. We'll do the same kind of queue as we did for the cube. The companion cube. Those of you who play Portal 2, you know about that. Companion cube's epic, seriously. You, you couldn't have asked for a better companion that whole trip than that companion cube. Seriously. Right, anyway, what else do we need? We need to open up the priority pass because, I mean, at the minute, I would kind of like this game if it kind of had milestones. Like, you had to get to a certain rating before you could, like, use priority passes and that kind of stuff. Because I understand it's not exactly realistic, but it adds a bit more challenge. Because, I don't know, from what I've played at the minute, it seems quite easy, the challenge mode. So I'm more using it in a way to do the creativity, but then to, I guess, also have a way to end the series if it needs to be ended. Which hopefully it doesn't, but you never know. The same thing's like if it goes on for so many episodes. Yeah, it's it's it needs a way to end it, but whatever. Anyway, open that up. We need some uh, old janitors around here to do their work. We need not a other thing. We'll have a gulpy and we'll have a chiff biff. There you go, chiff biff. Go chiff your biffs. And uh, we'll go ahead. And on this, we'll place down some bins and benches. And... I think we'll be done for this little tiny area. I'm not sure. We might we might still have some stuff to do here. Uh, we'll go ahead, place a few of these bins around. Kind of just locate them near the exit so people can puke in them. Not exactly the nicest thing, but let's be honest, that's probably what they're going to be filled up with. That and bloody... To be honest, it would help if they didn't exactly... If I didn't put it at the very start, like the milkshakes and the food places. Because that's probably not helping them when they get on these roller coasters. <laughs> We don't even have any road coasters yet. The rides, that's it. it it's probably not going to help them. I'm going to be honest. Feeding them strawberry cosmic cow milkshakes and big chief beef deluxe full fat burgers. Hashtag health and safety certified. Probably isn't going to help. I just realise this is a complete nut of maze. He really needs to piss, so it's probably a good idea to get a toilet down. Toilet. I saw a really good toilet I downloaded. It's a little modern toilet. Unfortunately, it has some kind of like... The window glass kind of thing on it. But we can fix that, ladies and gentlemen. That's not an issue. What what's what what appears to be the officer problem? Everything. Whoa! Lag. Yeah, apparently there's been some lag issues as well, people have been complaining at the minute. Oh, so I could have placed it there. Because it was red just then when I went to place it. My god! Why won't you work? Unless it's, like, completely saying it's not going to work. I don't know. What are you... Oh, it is. So it was going to work. Now I see how it is. I'm actually going to save that as a blueprint, I think, like that. That whole thing. There we go. So then I don't have to keep placing that thing down. Yeah, you can see some of my assets there. Toilet. Modern. Refined. I'm not going to be able to learn it because this is one someone else made. Uh, mini. This. Station. Create a blueprint. There we go. So there we go. People are happy now. They've got toilets. And if they need to, they can puke in them, I guess. Just don't puke at the end of the ride, please. And, uh, yeah. That, that seems to be going pretty nice now. So, i tell you what we need to do right here. We just need to, uh... Add a few plants just to finish this little area up before we uh, kind of come to a close. Right, we need to do, 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 do place a few birch trees along. There we go. We're going to really make it nice and green. After all, we are in the lovely grass and tropical lands. I probably could do with putting a little banana tree down somewhere to kind of, you know, insinuate this is, well, indeed, a tropical area and not the middle of... Swansea or something. Well, you'd know if it was the middle of Swansea. It wouldn't look anything like this. Uh, I'm probably going to stop there with that. Because that could go quite far. Right, anyway. I think... Ooh, what's a floral creeper? We'll shove one of them in. Why not? <laughs> Don't know what it is, but we'll shove it in. Uh, there's not really much I can really do here in terms of kind of making this fancy. I guess I could do some custom signs, but I'll probably leave that for next episode. Uh, we also could do with some... Lamp, street lamps, 
or some of these, I guess. Yeah, these look funky. Guess we'll uh, we'll deal with a few of these, man. That's what we'll have. There we go. There we go. Perfect. We'll uh, just litter these about odd. There we go. Give us some nice lighting. Kind of really bring up the mood of the area, if you so will. And uh, I think I should uh, do just nicely, that should. Look at that. Oh. There's not very much to say, really, when you're placing lamps, are there? I guess, I guess we could say, that's it. Because I'm probably going to end this here. Because obviously, I probably, I, I don't know where I'm going to lead in the whole building of that. So I kind of did that little bit where I was like, uh, you might just see it and just think it's normal if I leave it out, which I probably will because it was quite long. It took me about 20 minutes just to build that. And I don't think you want to be sitting there for 20 minutes, so I'm probably going to edit that out. But anyway, thank you for watching. This is the start of our park. We need to give it a name. Not that you can even name it, but we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a fictional name in which I'll refer to it by. So if you have a name for this park, then be sure to leave that below. Obviously, it's, it's got to be something decent. <laughs> I mean, I'm not usually one to complain about rude names. I usually tend to find them funny. But just for the sake of this series, I think it's best if we, uh... No, fuck it. Come up with any name you like. Stuff it. I don't give a damn anymore. <laughs> My child's been through enough as it is. And, uh, for those of you who are wondering, yes, we're definitely going to have a Here Comes Dat Boy coaster. Don't worry. Dat Boy is on his way. So, we'll get to that very, very shortly and soon in this series. But anyway... That's all for this episode. Hopefully you do enjoy this series. Hopefully you like the idea of it. I'm going to be kind of building because I know quite a few of you like this uh, game on my channel. So I thought I would do a bit more of it. So you guys can kind of see it, I guess. And obviously if you want to buy it, I think you can't really buy it in alpha anymore. Because there was a date in which they're stopping the selling the alpha. Uh, although you can pre-order it. Pre-order it. Is what I meant to say. Uh, or you can pre-order the beta edition, which gives you access to the beta as well. Because it's a closed beta. Obviously, I'll have access to it as well, because I got the alpha version. But hey-ho, that's all. So be sure to subscribe for more. And if you enjoyed the series, be sure to like the video if you generally enjoyed this. So I know, I know if you've enjoyed it. Be sure to comment down, I don't know, Chiff Biff. Like C-H-I-F-F-B-I-F-F. -F -F, all one word. Hashtag Chiff Biff. If you made it to this far of the end. I was about to say we should put some on here. That might look quite nice. Ooh, I think that looks quite quite sexy. That does. Oh, whoa. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, ho. Look at that. That is a true national bank. Anyway, we're going to leave it here with the national bank of good old Planet Coaster. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this. And cheerio.